The clutch assembly allows the engine to idle without the tool's cutter head moving. It consists of a clutch, a clutch drum, and mounting washers. When the engine speed is increased, the clutch expands and contacts the clutch drum, causing it to rotate. Common problems with the clutch assembly are worn down clutch pads, weak clutch springs, a worn or warped clutch drum, or a worn cable attachment hole. Replacing the clutch assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear housing from the engine. The same screws that secure the rear housing also secure the rear crankcase cover. I'll go ahead and remove it as well. Now I'll remove the clutch housing in the upper shaft. Next I'll remove the clutch drum. Next, I'll remove the clutch. If I attempt to just rotate the clutch, the problem is the crankshaft also rotates, so I can't remove it. What I'll need to do first is bind up the cylinder so that the crankshaft can't rotate. I'll begin locking the crankshaft by removing the spark plug. Once the spark plug is removed, I'll take a length of starter rope and insert it through the spark plug hole on top of the piston. I'll leave enough of the rope sticking out so I can easily remove it later. Now I can put a wrench on the clutch. As I rotate the clutch, the piston will move up in the cylinder until it contacts the starter rope. The starter rope will bind it, locking the crankshaft. I'll remove the clutch and the washer. Now I'll reinstall the crankcase cover and rear engine cover. The Easy Start system has two holes in a flywheel on the back of the crankcase cover. I need to align one of these holes with the crankshaft. Then I align the holes in the cover with the holes in the crankcase and reinstall the housing. Now I can install the new clutch and clutch drum. First I'll install the large washer over the crankshaft. Then I'll thread on the clutch. I'll tighten the clutch with a wrench. Once the clutch is tight, I can remove the piece of starter rope I put in the cylinder and I'll replace the spark plug. Now install the shim washers. And the clutch.
and now reinstall the clutch housing and upper shaft. And that's all it takes to install a new clutch assembly on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.